and welcome to Call of Dragons. We'd like to thank all our lords and ladies for bringing your A-game to the last season. Today we're going to talk about the new season, the Icebound Oath. Season 2's story begins in a settler city in the western continent of Belleron, a place where dwarves and settlers from Tamaris live in harmony. In the year 1197, without warning, the furious dwarven high king Mermont Frostbeard tears up the peace treaty between settlers and dwarves. And this illustrious settler city is plunged into all-out war. You must leave Tamaris and set sail for Belleron with your forces, ready to fight against the darkness. In Season 2, you'll discover a whole new land, the continent of Belleron. This new map is smaller, making it easier for you to explore the mist. Belleron is also filled with sandstone cliffs that make the land look truly magical. In Belleron, you'll meet a new race, the Dwarves. The Dwarven soldiers of the Kingdom of Kadwaladir will become your new opponents. You'll need to defeat the Dwarven soldiers roaming the map to gain experience. Season 2 adds two new behemoths. First, the Frost Giant. Frost Giants are slow-moving creatures capable of enduring extremely harsh environments. They fight by throwing boulders and summoning ice spears. You'll have to team up to take them on. The other new behemoth is the Frost Dragon Zaneros. She's nested in the frozen Eyrie at the center of the map. Her mastery of ice and snow allows her to deal huge area of effect damage. Will your alliance be able to come together to defeat this deadly foe in Season 2? The new season will introduce two new legendary cavalry heroes. First up is Forindil, a Spring Warden flying cavalry hero and apprentice of Indus, the Sage of Order. Though he may appear cool-headed and quick-witted, he's a lot more lively than your average elf. And on the battlefield, he can transform into a powerful and breathtaking forest eagle. Now let's meet our other cavalry hero. Meet Theodore, a heavily armored knight of the League of Order. At the age of 14, he entered the royal court as a squire, rising through the ranks to be named Consul of Orion. Season 2 also introduces a new artifact, the Oath of Storm Peak. Though it may look like an ordinary forest eagle feather, it's actually a powerful magical talisman best suited for use by cavalry heroes. Use it to summon a clone of your legion with the exact same attributes and skills. The clone can even cast rage skills. We're excited to see you put this new artifact through its paces on the battlefield. On top of all this new content, there's a brand new gameplay feature in Season 2, the Proven Grounds. Alliance members can band together to capture ancient ancestor statues, defeating Dwarven Guardians and players from other alliances to score points. The Alliance who scores the most points in a round gains control of the Ancestor Statue. Meanwhile, players can also gain rewards by scoring points for themselves. Just like before, Season 2 will start with the Season Reset. The first thing to note is that all Alliances from the last season will be disbanded. Alliance names from the last season will be reserved for 7 days, so former members will still be able to find each other and team up. Next thing you need to know, all heroes and artifacts will be reset to level 1, and all unused tactics manuals, command point items, arcane dust, and medical supplies will be scrapped. And finally, all prestige, unused merits, and enacted policies will be reset. Your progress and rewards in Dragon Trial will be reset too, but you'll be able to complete challenges at a new difficulty level to gain amazing rewards. An icy wind is blowing. New dangers await you in the land of Belleron. Warriors of Tamaris, raise your swords once more. The fate of both realms lies within your hands. <laughs>